Hello friends, welcome to my 7th presentation on the ethics in real estate and hospitality industry. Today's topic is uh, designing of facade of the buildings. Uh, what is included in this presentation is the scope of the facade design, what are the essential characteristics of a good robust facade, what are the key specifications and types of materials which are required for a good robust facade design, what are the good design practices and the different five stages of the development of the design for the facade and how to bring build quality in the designing process using uh, optimum software. Uh, as you know, this uh, facade can be applicable for residential, commercial, shopping complexes, offices, education institutes, hotels, hospitals, factories and other engineering works. Now, different type of facades, as you would have seen, these, are, these include aluminium, UPVC glazing, brickwork and stonework, tiles, stone uh, veneer panels, precast concrete panels, metallic cladding and so on. Uh, what are the essential characteristics of a robust facade design? These include uh, the uh, uniqueness of the building envelope so that it is able to grab the attention of the viewers, uh, energy saving uh, uh, through using cost reduction ap ap approach, overall project cost of the facade, and uh, provisions of vertical and lateral wind actions, optimum design performance of the facade, uh, uh, it should be able to eliminate uh, water ingress, ensure air tightness to prevent heat or cooling uh, losses, uh, it should be enabled, it should enable configuration of a good acoustic insulation to reduce the noise levels and uh, should be uh, able to thermally insulate the uh, uh, overall facade and uh, prevent uh, solar radiations, heat absorption due to solar, absorb, solar radiations. It should be able to provide adequate daylights and preventing uh, glare. Uh, it should be having a carbon neutral design, which is very important topic. Uh, uh, it should be fire resistant. It should be able to withstand the excessive vibrations caused by air or otherwise, um, uh, the ability to withstand the change in the frequency of the sound and noise control. It should prevent, uh, design should prevent looseness of the fasteners and it should provide, design should provide inside occupants comforts and uh, it must of course uh, affect uh, normally ignored. Uh, it should be able to provide a good uh, facade cleaning design system and it should be able to meet the safety and strategy requirements and able to maintain easily. Now different kind of uh, materials which are required for the facade and uh, their important characteristics which are required to be used. In a, uh, in a facade which is primarily of GRC type uh, glass fiber reinforced concrete, what is important is that for the inputs which go into this, the thickness, the density, the unit weight, the compression strength, the tensile strength, porosity, moisture content, water tightness, moisture content, coefficient of thermal expansion, flexural strength and modulus of elasticity and uh, of course uh, beside the usual color, texture, surface type, shape, size, width, etc. These are the important materials which designers need to be aware of and incorporate the quality standards for these. In the case of uh, steel reinforced concrete facade, uh, parameters are similar like thickness, density, unit weight, compression strength, tensile strength, porosity, moisture content, water tightness, moisture content, coefficient of expansion, flexural strength, and model of elasticity. And uh, for even ultra high performance uh, uh, type of uh, facade, uh, similar parameters as above for the steel reinforced concrete facade. Uh, composite facade, aluminium, poly, poly, polyethylene composite or wood plastic uh, and terracotta cladding tiles. The characteristics for the input specifications are practically similar as mentioned above. Some of them may not be relevant, but uh, most of the properties are the similar. Ceramic uh, facade, uh, this includes hardness, uh, modulus of elasticity, ductility, wear resistance, resistance to chemicals and so on, which designer must take cognizance of. In the case of timber facade, the size, the color, the luster, the grains, the content, the hardness, the density, shear resistance and so on. Uh, for the natural stone facade, the important parameters are uh, color, hardness, grain size, texture, polish, polishability, chemical properties and so on. 
Uh, now the, there are besides for each type of the different kind of uh, facade there are common uh, similar kind of hardware which are required usually these are aluminium or stainless steel and uh, here the designers need to choose the <coughs> make the brand the and uh, these hardware they need to be aesthetic aesthetically nice and uh, stylish and uh, they have to specify the designers to specify the size color coating and surface finish etc uh, uh, then and the last but not the least is sealants, which are very very important uh, for and these sealants uh, like silicon rubber they should be able to uh, uh, withstand the vagaries of the nature uh, should be having waterproofing properties insulation resistant to extreme temperatures UV resistance not standing the temperature color retention strength shrinkage and crack resistance uh, and uh, maintenance equipment. Uh, uh, particularly for the high-rise uh, buildings, uh, uh, the designers need to specify the make, the brand, the model, and the performance, and the size, and the safety. Safety equipment is very, very important. Now, what are the good design uh, practices in the construction process for the uh, facade, which designers need to be incorporating? Uh, uh, these are basically fabrication uh, uh, how to do the fabrication of the aluminium or UPVC or alternate materials for the use of the panels. Uh, installation of various types of panels for facade uh, like GFSRC or RCO, UPSC and uh, terracotta, natural stone, composite facade etc. What are the installation requirements uh, for uh, the uh, installation of these uh, facade materials? Then installation of the glass work, the glazing, the hardware and the maintenance system for the facade designers need to be providing inputs for that for the contractors or for the in-house team who is going to install this uh, how to apply and test the sealants on the facade for acoustics, water and air leakages and inside temperature control uh, then there are some special specialized facade system the practices for those uh, cleaning system practices installation testing and practices uh, particularly from the perspective of the safety considerations and providing inputs to the building architects, interior designers and MVP package designers for integration of the uh, facade uh, across the project. Uh, now, essential, other essential technical steps and activities is, uh, which include performance of the following for developing a good design over design. Uh, the designers have to prior, initially do the analysis of the solar movement and the shading analysis uh, which service the building on which this facade is to be uh, installed, the daylight planning, the energy reduction, the solar heat gain and thermal analysis and carbon neutral designs and glazing selection and uh, facade envelope uh, geometry and fabrication assembly the facade system. Now there are different kind of software which are required uh, which, are, which can be used for these and the, each one of them is an engineering subject itself. So the software like Fenista, Autodesk, Revit, AutoCAD, VTAP, or similar ones uh, having features to carry out the design analysis can be considered for developing the uh, facade uh, works related design. Here I wish to say that here the uh, design concepts are uh, as robust, uh, as difficult, uh, as comprehensive as for designing a structure. Now there are different stages for uh, developing a design. Uh, I am just uh, comprehensively considering this under the five heads the five stages for the designs uh, for the uh, facade. Now these may vary from company to company depending on the size and the uh, uh, complexity of the uh, facade system. Now these need to be uh, uh, comprehensive uh, and these must incorporate the nat national and international quality standards and uh, they must incorporate the uh, local statutory and safety equipment for the buildings and the, they must, uh, the design must enable the uh, optimizing the project cost, enable efficient delivery of the specification design of the drawings and uh, it must incorporate the uh, uh, very important maker checker step in each stage of the design so that uh, there is no, there is a, there is a, there is a implementation of segregation of duties concepts. In this stage one which is the developing of the concept design, I am going to cover primarily the activities that are that can adversely impact the business rather going to details of each one of these. Now here, uh, in case uh, the, the most important thing is that designers, facade designers, they need to incorporate the inputs which are uh, relevant for designing, like you know, building envelope and building statutory codes and performance of the facade, construction methods, maintenance of the facade, rendering of the 
rendering for the sales promotion and the cleaning system for the facade these all need to be taken into account through the uh, the conventional architects mep uh, designers sales teams uh, while designing while uh, while planning the concept design for the facade and uh, they must use the license software uh, for this the in case the the the, the software is unlicensed and unlicensed this can lead to a lot of compromise in the basic designing developing developing of the detailed design here the design and uh, here the activities that can grossly impact are the design intent is not aligned with the approved concept design the facade detailed drawings are not comprehensive to include the structural integrity material selection acoustics etc or or, or these are not accurate detailed drawings are not accurate uh, assigning the same designer to the develop the schematic design and the drawings who initiate develop the concept design thus not implementing the segregation of duets concept leading to compromise because uh, uh, the the designer who has developed the concept he or she may not be able to look into uh, the various uh, detailing aspects of these and may compromise on these uh, detailed detail design not based on the supporting calculations formulas uh, as i mentioned that there are uh, so many important parameters like thermal movements edge beam deflection thermal expansion circle calculations and fire protection uh, the which are very very important from safety perspective now these parameters they need to be incorporated into the design calculation while developing the detailed designs developing of the tenders in the tender the facade designers they need to include the names and brands of the uh, specific materials uh, they they must they must provide opportunities for having alternate options for the names and brands of the specific uh, for the materials Uh, rather than limiting the choices to pre identified and pre preferred vendors uh, in return of commissions and kickbacks uh, other thing is that uh, uh, designers in case they recommend only single source of the many of the weak materials for example the glass or the uh, hardware uh, or the facade material as such principally so this can lead to a lot of compromises and many opportunities lost for using good alternate options Uh, now this can be this may be attributed to the uh, kickback or the commissions which uh, designers uh, uh, may take uh, in case uh, this concept is not inbuilt uh, <coughs> tenders drawings they must incorporate the applicable quality standards for all the boq and fabrication materials installation and uh, uh, assembly works inspection of the requirement for the facade works like aluminum and glass and doors and hardware and stones these need to be comprehensive if these are not comprehensive design can be compromised the tender drawings they need to be incorporating all applicable statutory requirements vis-a-vis -vis the applicable national and international uh, codes for this safety in particular now the ones as i mentioned the one which are marked asterisk in my uh, ppt they are the ones which can have uh, statutory implications as well now estimating cost of the facade overall cost of the facade is very very important some people some designers they go by thumb rules now here what is important is that designers they need to incorporate the each and every component of the uh, facade uh, uh, being designed like cost of raw materials like aluminum or upv or civil materials or uh, cost of the doors and the handles uh, cost of the other hardware consumables and the cost of the equipment uh, which is required for cleaning and maintaining the system the cost of fabrication the cost of labor cost of installation and uh, testing and commissioning these are the very important parameters which will make up a good accurate costing of the uh, facade last but not the least is the issuing is the as well designs uh, the here uh, here here the, the compromise could be that uh, uh, while the drawings are made as well drawings uh are made these are not aligned to the actual construction but at variant uh, uh which can uh, which is a unethical practice and uh, need to needs to be taken care of uh, <coughs> uh now these are primarily the uh, uh various aspects 20 parameters 20 activities which i have covered which can reversely impact the design uh, of the facade and the more details about this can be seen in my uh, presentation uh, in my in my uh, book uh, in the in the 
uh, ethics in the real estate and hospitality industry volume 1 uh, agriculture uh, artic- uh, uh, architecture interior and mbb designs and um, there are there are there, there is a there is a blog on my website also which you can have uh, referred to as mentioned here and you can also look at the facebook and the linkedin for me and book is available on the kindle format as also paperback format in the amazon in in uh, india or amazon.com anywhere in the world thank you